E hey, ciao a tutti ragazzi e benvenuti in questo nuovo video Oggi siamo qui su YouTube per reagire al Brawl Talk del 9 dicembre 2023 Allora, il titolo da come dice Il brawler più forte è gratuito? Punto di domanda oppure è un'affermazione? Vedremo tutto Allora, durerà 10 minuti ed è un problema, quindi raga, eh, prima di iniziare un bella iscrizione e campanella Quindi cominciamo subito perché se no ehm, Ma una cosa, tre nuovi brawler Cioè raga, cioè, siamo a 70 del brawler Ma con questo arriviamo a 76 Ma Brawl day skins, cartoon skins and the free skins Eh Five versus five. Cosa? Cioè raga, ho visto bene Modalità 5 contro 5 Cioè veramente Ok Ma è l'animazione di Bugs Bunny Cioè dalle quale del cartone animato Danny? What is it? Danny? What? <ride> Figa, tra qua l'animazione di Bugs Bunny Dell'unico in Sansi Welcome to Brawl Talk We have three months full of content for you So let's start with December Happy Brawly Days And happy Brawlyversary We will turn 5 years old in just a couple of days. Oh, Talking about Brawly go. Days, Miko, the first of our three new Brawlers will be released on December oh. 14th for Sarà the part of our Brawly Days calendar. He's completing the Brawlywood trio together with Lola and Grey. He thinks he's the biggest director slash actor in the movie industry, but he's actually operating the boom mic in Brawlywood's productions. Miko is the first brawler that jumps with his main attack. He can't be attacked well in mid-air and he feels damage where he plays. He can jump over walls, holes and even projectiles. But he doesn't have a lot of hit points and his reload speed is quite slow. With his super, he jumps into the air and you can control where he lands. The target location is also shown to opponents. Miko will receive three skins in this update. Three skins. Macaron Miko, where he becomes a bit more sophisticated. And Grouch Miko, an evil monkey creature who wants to destroy the magical spirit of the Brawly Days. And oh. another one in February, but more about that later. Uh, February, the Brawly Days skins will but... return. And older Dark Winter Tales okay, skins will skin be available with the discount this season. Tetra. We will introduce a new Brawly Days skin. Santa Stu is making sure oh, games are delivered quickly, but he's not giving any guarantees that they will arrive intact. But one gift for sure, it will be arrived safely. Al 100%. Quindi sarà gratuito. Ah, sì, è vero, la, la skin di Colt avevano già detto a settembre ottobre che la skin vincitrice ehm, di Colt sarà poi messa tra i premi gratuiti che ci saranno stati poi a dicembre. Il 24 dicembre, ah, la vigilia di Natale, bellissima. Proprio il stesso stesso. Miko and Dark Angel Colt are both part of the calendar which will start on the day of our update. Hopefully December 12th. And the calendar ends on December 26th. Make sure to collect all the items before okay. the end of the year. Quindi 14 giorni. The Hypercharge Unleash event is back in the same room with six new Hypercharge Brawlers, including Miko. Complete the quest of the event and you'll get a free random Hypercharge. Bello, the bello. Brawlers receiving Hypercharge this update are Leon. He will stay invisible even if he attacks during his hypercharge super. Fang, his hypercharge super can go through walls and he leaves popcorn in his wake. Edgar, his reload speed and supercharge increase during his hypercharge. Dynamite, after his super explodes, a lot of other dynamites explode around him. Crow, eh. all his knives become piercing and they will return to him afterward. And Miko, oh, once he lands with his super, he stuns brawlers around him. He paralyzes. Bellissimo. Modalità 5 contro 5. 
All of them have bigger map sizes and will be run as events during weekends throughout this update cycle. We'll wow. start with 5v5 Bravo, by wow, Bravo, and Jane Grab. 5v5 Bravo is played sideways, and the goal is quite a bit bigger. You might think it will be easier to score, but there are more defenders to stop you. 5v5 Wipeout plays very much the same. The chances are bigger maps and a higher number of takedowns to win. And 5v5 Jane Grab now will have some maps with two gem spawn points. Which one would you like to play first? Let us know in the comments. Now, moving on to January. Our legendary arrived a bit late, but it does more the wait. It's Kit the Cat Brawler. Oh, dear, I'm Kit. Forse il Brawler che stavamo aspettando da anni, tipo. Questo Brawler doveva. Il mistero di Kit già da aprile 2021 se non mi sbaglio ci avevamo fatto rimasti con il dubbio chi era, se usciva come brawler. Studios, no, sempre riferito ai cartoni animati. Kit uses his claws for his main attack and has a short range but it's really quick. With his super he can jump on either allies or opponents. If he jumps on an ally, he heals them and himself, oh. and his main attack changes and he then becomes a thrower. Bello. If he dashes onto an enemy, he then scratches the enemy for some time. When Kit is attached to somebody, he becomes invulnerable, and you either have to take Buono. down the host or wait for him to jump off. He's supercharged automatically. Kit will receive a Buono. 29 gem skin, which is inspired by community fan art. It's called Billy the Kit. He also receives another Carino. skin in February, but we'll talk about that one later as well. Kit is the first legendary support brawler and it will be available in a special early access offer one week prior to the start of the Star Toon season. He'll then get his regular release once the new Star Toon season starts on January 4th. Just before we go through the new monthly brawl pass, let's talk about the Star Toon skins. Ooh, Each one of the skins Star will be inspired by a different cartoon style and looks completely different from all our other skins. We'll have Pinku Paulet, inspired by the Japanese Carino, anime style, and Molto she's the bella. waitress in a local bubble tea shop. This is also the Brawl Pass skin at the end of the pass. There are two color variations of the skin from the Brawl Pass Plus. It's Midori Paulet and Kiro Paulet. Ah, we'll talk about gialla. the Brawl Pass Plus later. Final Boss Rico is going to be the Power League skin and he has a Lega skill to be He's inspired by old cartoons from the 40s. And Toonspy is a 2D character in a 3D world. He's inspired by more bella. modern cartoons and looks really unique in game. Bella, Spike come gioca. Come ci stanno facendo vedere, ma è troppo bello. Legendary skin package, including a super cool takedown animation. Ma no, però un'animazione quando uccide i nemici, bellissimo. In January, the first in monthly Brawl Pass no, starts ecco. and we will also introduce the Brawl Pass Plus. We have already announced all the changes with the pass in a previous communication, but here's a quick summary of it. It's only available as an in-app purchase. This means you can't buy it for gems anymore. What? But this won't be a nerf to the free-to-play progression, because we are buffing the pass progression oh, ecco. enough, so it will give you around the same as if you were using your gems to buy a pass every other month. The pay track has also been buffed by a lot, so you'll get even more value for your purchase. For now, every pass includes a skin at the last tier. And the Brawl Pass is now monthly, so things should never feel stale. The reward at the end of the Brawl Pass got changed to Star Drops. Beh, and the cost has been adjusted. Brawl Passes won't have a Brawler, but you'll be able to unlock any Brawler up to Epic Rarity or receive a lot of credits instead. The skin in the pass states, Tokens become XP. This is more of a visual and name change. Oh. The pass also comes with some additional benefits, like getting more daily XP and quests. If you purchase the Brawl Pass, you can upgrade it to the Brawl Pass Plus, and you will receive the following. More progression. Two color variations of the Brawl Pass skin of the season. A unique player title. And a lot more value. Oh. Also, remember that now you can use your gems on something else, you. like Mythic Skins, Progression, or anything that gems allow you to purchase. It's also important to point out that you can now receive and store skins from brawlers you don't own. These can be accessed from the catalog. The first monthly Brawl Pass season starts on January 4th, right after the end of the Bizarre Circle season. Okay. You have probably noticed how unsafe Star Park was, right? But fear no more, Larry and Lori are ah, coming ecco to protect you. Ah, ecco l'ultimo brawler. Larry e Larry. Start the law in Star Park. And they have the classic so good, good, bad, 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 bad,
They are joining Archie's trio, and they help him on keeping the order at Star Park. Larry, the good bot, throws tickets that cause damage in an area and explode twice. As for his super, Larry calls for help from his big brother, Lori, and throws him into the arena. Lori then follows the closest target and shoots at them with a massive fire. Larry and Lori get a 29 gem skin called the Controllers. And if you got this pun, you should be very proud of yourself. They will have their early release one week before the Dragon Beat season starts in okay. February. For our second monthly Brawl Pass of the year... Ah, quindi faranno pure il secondo l'aggiornamento per il secondo Brawl Pass che arriverà a febbraio. The season is called Dragon Beat. And Miko gets a legendary skin called Wukong Miko. He becomes the most powerful and coolest monkey king. Kid oh. Boxer is going to be the skin of the Dragon Pit season. If you purchase the Brawl Pass Plus, then you also receive the color variation Kid Boxer Gold Paw and Kid Boxer Dark Paw. 8-bit virus will receive the 299 gem treatment with a special custom VFX and other cosmetics. But he will also receive a new color variation called Antivirus 8-bit. There will also be another recolor skin. Ferocious Fang is a variation of Fury. Ah, Fang Furioso viene, diciamo, cambia il nome con Fang Feroce. Ci sta. And we'll be getting a lot more skins that are not part of either of the seasons. We notice, or W notice, to celebrate Zeta Division being the 2023 Brawl Stars World Champions. Congratulations! Flag Bearer Piper, a carnival skin as a tribute to our Brazilian community. Aqui é Brasil, p***. Dolce, cute 29 gem skin for Brawlentines. Hell quarterback for our Mary. Ho capito cosa era quella parolaccia, ma lasciamo perdere. Just football fans, or just football if you are American. CCTV Poco, one of the first skins featuring the origin of our brawlers. Skin di Poco mi piace tanto. Bella questa. Only available in our Supercell store. But we don't have a release date yet, and it's possible that it might not be released during this no, update. Non so sicuro che esce in questo giorno. The was made by the Korean fan artist Gary Corp a long time ago. Win streaks. Now, if you're in the zone, La you'll serie be di vittorie. New Mythic Gear for Mortis. Shelly Bottom Raven. Uh, Trophy Road is getting some trophy. star drops, but don't worry. I star drop per il camion di trofei. Godo, raga, godo. And use hashtag SantaStew to participate in the oh, Golden sì, Breakers giveaways and have Give the chance away. to get this king for free. Ah! Ah, qua That's va a scannerizzare. Sorry. Ma raga, che dire, allora, come sempre, il solito aggiornamento. Anche stavolta non c'è una cola. Non uno, ma due, ma tre brawler. Ce ne rendete conto? Vabbè, perché hanno fatto pure l'aggiornamento di febbraio. Però, raga, c'è lì che cosa stiamo parlando? Per non parlare della marea di skin, che poi ne riparleremo tra domani e dopodomani con gli sneak peek. Quindi, raga, che dire? Spero che questo video vi sia piaciuto. Lasciate un like e noi ci vediamo domani con un prossimo video. Bella, raga.